Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video. Today is Tuesday the 31st of July. Each day I set up just one of our signals that our members get from our Stock Scanners membership. We're concentrating really on fifth wave trades. Which they are the highest probability moves in a trend in an Elliott Wave sequence. Uh, our members get potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. Today I'm going to look at short trades. Uh, I'm going to look at the 60 minute time frame as well. So in the members area here, members for today of 31st July, click on the image there and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet looks something like this for today. This is the potential shorts on the 60 minute time frame for the fifth wave move. And I've chosen one of these to set up for today. So let's have a look at the chart. So I've chosen NYCB, potential short on the 60 minute time frame. I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Ninja Trader NT8 platform. But it's also available for multi charts, TradeStation, and the Think or Swim uh, platform. So, first of all, I want to talk about how we uh, isolate the wave count. So, for our members that have it here, we've got a really sort of corrective range at the top here. Just go to the highs of those and it'll uh, put in the ABC corrections. And then we get the two at the top of this big move down uh, with the wave three. Again, the Elliott Wave uh, indicator suite automatically labels these. And then we've had the wave four pullback into one of our probability zones. And this is what we uh, give us for the first sort of set of filters for our stocks membership um, area here. So. The first filter that we talk about is this wave 4 pullback against the main trend. And the moment it's found resistance in the green zone, the top end of the green zone. So this green zone represents an 85% probability. If it does find resistance here, it's going to go on and make that new low into our automated target zones around about 1025 down here in blue. The next filter it measures the performance of the wave 4. And this is the 535 oscillator. Now that's pulled back between 90 and 140% during this wave four, which is a good sign. And then thirdly, the other filter, and um, one of the indicators on our indicator suite is this false breakout stochastic. The, the yellow dots at the bottom denote a strong bearish momentum. The stochastic's pulled back against that, crossed in the overbought zone, and is likely to return back to the main bearish trend. For that fifth wave move. So those basic three filters gives us a, an initial setup. Then we just need to look for a sensible entry really. So the, the, the stop loss for this entry is 1089 above this wave four high. The entry is at 1069 which is outside of the red moving average here. This is our special 64 moving average low which is an entry for short positions. The green is a 64 moving average high which we use for long positions. So the entry is below this for the first hours of today's session. 1069 entry short for NYCB gives us a risk to reward of nearly 1 to 2.5 into our target zone there. So a great risk reward. Do watch for the gap downs, um, but this is quite a cheap stock, so we shouldn't gap down too much at the open. If this wave four can hold and it starts to move down through this 6-4 moving average low, we could get a nice little short here into 1025 target level. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.